Amen. Many yeah. will fall away. Yes. Who are these people that fall away? Those who fall away are such matter give evidence. These people give evidence that it was never seen. Yes, right. Yeah. You yes. a true, sincere yes. believer <laughs> cannot be overthrown wow. by the power of Satan. They can try to make any excuse they want. Yeah. Oh, the church folk, the yeah. this, the that. You can play all the blame game you want. Yeah. Oh, the pastor, he did me wrong. Oh, the usher is to greet me. Oh, this, then, this. Oh, they didn't have this. You can't nothing overthrow a sincere believer's faith in God. Nothing. Amen. Satan don't have that much power. He got power, but he don't have no power in God. That's right. Because some old folk died in the faith. And they went through a whole lot of stuff. So we can't get to a point saying, people leave the church, people leave God because of this. No, people leave God because they were never saved. You, when you are sincerely saved, can nothing turn your call you to turn your back. You were never saved. That's right, that's right, say it. I'm not afraid of people in Because when I was in the world, I did a whole lot of it. I tell you what I do very serious sense of God. Yes. Cause when I did what I did, I did a whole lot because I believed in it. Yeah. yeah. When I clubbed, I clubbed wholeheartedly because I believed in it. Yeah. When I when I played the game, I played them wholeheartedly because that's what I believed in. Yes, yes. And couldn't have convinced me at that time anything different. Uh -huh. Because that's what I believed in. Uh -huh. Yeah. So since I've been transformed by the power of God, Thank you. that's what I believe in. It can't nothing change. I don't, I don't care. We can have a massive exodus in here. That ain't going to shake my faith. No. That ain't going to stop my salvation. Amen, Amen. Amen somebody. Amen. So your salvation is not predicated on what people do. Yes. Your salvation is predicated on Jesus Christ, the atoning work, the life he lived, not just in the New Testament, but from the beginning. He said in the beginning, there was no form of void, but yet it's still God and the God and his son. He said, let us. Jesus was in existence then. Yes, he was. Yes, he was. Jesus did come in existence in yes, Matthew chapter 1. Yes, right. Go back to Genesis chapter 1. He said, let us. Who the us is? God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Jesus was revealed in the Old Testament. He just didn't pop up on the scene in the New Testament. The Bible says even in Daniel chapter 3, we were talking about this in Christian education. Yeah. Remember, Nebuchadnezzar, the fiery furnace. Then Nebuchadnezzar, at the latter part of the text, he said, Did we not throw three men in? Yeah. You better go ahead and read your Bible. Yeah. But he said, I see a fourth kind yeah. as the Son of God. Yeah. Oh, that's Jesus. Yeah. Yes. Amen. So Jesus just didn't come on the scene in the New Testament. Yeah. He's always been there. Yes, yeah. Amen sometimes. But his human manifestation came in the New Testament when he emptied himself in the body. Yes, and he told, he had an angel to speak to a virgin. Yes. And, and he told her that she would conceive a son and when Mary said, be it unto me. Some things God want to birth in you, but you got to say, Lord, be it unto me. Yes. Lord, come on somebody. God want to birth some things out of your life. The Bible says, endure to the end. Those who persevere are the same ones who are saved. Perseverance, don't, that, that, don't, that don't bring salvation. Salvation through his confession and belief, but it's also through the validity of what you do. But when you persevere, it reveals that you are saved. Those that persevere to the end shall be saved. Not the ones who love grow cold. So many people love grow cold because they, they want to treat Jesus like a little genie. They just rub on it and, Lord, give me some money and pay my bills. That's all you live for? Mm, my God, my God. Paying bills, mm. paying bills, wow. and paying bills. Vacations and bills, buying clothes, buying. Then somebody says, well, what do we live for then? Mm -hmm. You live for it all. Yeah. Amen. You live for it all. You live to set an example. Amen, somebody. Because Jesus didn't have to go to the cross for David to be rich. Amen. He didn't have to go to the cross for Abraham to be rich. 
He didn't have to go to the cross for someone to do it. So Jesus didn't go to the cross for us just to obtain things. Yes, Let me tell you how you get things. Let me tell you how you get things. Let's, let's go to Matthew 6. Let me, let me, let me show you. Matthew 6.33. Somebody already know it. We already in Matthew. Let's go to the back paddle just a little bit. Go to verse 24. I tell people you don't have to buy them books. You want you want you want to know how to the, 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 the get something from the Lord. Listen to this. Matthew 6, 24. No one can serve how many masters? How, how many masters? No one can serve how many masters? Okay. For either he will hate one and love the other. Uh -oh. So that's that relationship. Or he will be devoted to one and despise the other. Yes. You cannot serve God in wealth. Yes. Let's just stop right there. Yes. Would you know you, you, you love and, and, and how your heart is towards is how you pursue it. Yeah, mm. yeah I'm why I am. Yes. You know you love God? Watch how you pursue him. The things of God. See, God is showing us some of this in his text. Let's keep reading. Let's keep reading. Because I don't want to paraphrase this. I want you to know it. I know Pastor, I say, don't give you no short version of this one. Uh, verse 25. For this reason, listen to this, I say to you, do not be worried about your life as to what you will eat or what you will drink, nor for your body as to what you will put on. Is not life more than food? And the body more than clothing. Uh oh. Did we just read that? Look at the birds of the air. Now he's going to give us an example. So now look at the birds of the air. They do not sow, not reap, or gather into barns, and yet your heavenly Father does what? Feeding them. Are not you worthy of much more than they? And how of you, by being worried, can add a single hour to his life? And why are you worried about clothing? Observe how the lilies of the field and how they grow. They do not toil, nor do they spin. Yet I say to you, not even Solomon in all his glory clothed himself like one of these. But if, but if God so clothes the grass of the field, which is alive today and tomorrow is thrown in the furnace, he will not much more clothe you of little faith. Do not worry then, saying what you will eat, what you will drink, or what you will wear for clothing. For the Gentiles eagerly seek these things. Yes. For your heavenly Father knows what? You have need of these things. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things will be added unto you. Let's read the final verse. So do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will care for itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. So, when people say, well, what's the blessing plan? Right there? <laughs> That's it, right Not the word. Right Make sure your focus right is in the right direction. Amen. Make sure your obedience mm, right is lining up with the word of God. Yes. And make sure your faith is sincere to the God you serve. Yes. Therefore, that will produce something and will give you an out, a out right. tangible uh, result. But you can't get the result if you're doing it your way. That's right. That's right. He talked about yeah. the birds. The birds, no, they ain't doing no kind of really productive work. Amen. But yet, still, he made a provision. He talked about the lily. Yeah. The lily that starts out, amen, closed, closed like a little bud, and then the lily yeah. that opens up yeah. to come beautiful. The lily, yeah. the grass that we want to spray on and keep it green year round, but the grass is it, supposed to go through a season of cycle where it dies. But we we know we don't we don't like that. Mm -mm, mm -mm. We don't like the grass to do what it's supposed to do. Mm -hmm. But the grass, if, if we could, we'd control the sun. If we could. In certain areas of, of, of the cities, in cities, they, they, they control the grass. And I can imagine with, with that grass, if the grass had life, I can imagine what it's saying underneath that dirt. Yeah. We spray it, we paint it. Amen, somebody. Yeah. Because these are the rules that man has set. So they tell you, your grass can't do what it naturally should do. Yeah, it got to be green year round. Hmm. And we know, anybody that live long enough, hmm. know even the flower, if the petals fall, 
New petals come on. Leaf. It, it is something the tree, you know, when it drop leaves. Yes, it is. And we used to get upset about raving y'all. <laughs> but the, the tree do what it's supposed to do. The old leaves fall off, then the new leaves come on. The old flower fall off, and then the, old, the new flower bloom and blossom. Yes. And we're supposed to be doing the same thing. Yes. But he says, seek ye first. The kingdom of God. You just like I gotta close my Bible. You don't, you don't close on that one. 
All he want to do is, is lay on top of it and, and say a few words in here. No, don't come around right here at midnight. No, I need to see you in the daytime. Good news, good news. Uh, yes, sir. Yes. I don't want to just deal with you because he got his chest.